Um, so you make it to Washington in January 2015, and what do you find? What, what, what surprises you about it? Well, the first thing, uh, actually, uh, right after the election in, in uh, November of 2014, uh, I come to, I, the, all the members were brought together for an orientation. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is one lavish party after another in orientation. And the message is very clear that if you are willing to play the game, life in D.C. as a member of Congress can be a very comfortable existence. And the game is uh, uh, agreeing with leadership, agreeing with the special interest groups on, on how to vote and, and how to govern. Um, I'm not one of those people that's very agreeable, and so I, uh, I, I was not interested in, in doing that. I came to D.C. because I have a, a passion for trying to reduce our debt and reduce the size and scope of the federal government. And so it was uh, much more difficult for me um, in uh, my first term in D.C. Than, than for many other people. Well, I mean, going back to those parties before you even get elected, in what way was it conveyed to you that there was a game that needed to be played? Sure. Uh, when, when you show up and, and there, uh, the Army uh, choir is singing and there is uh, uh, you know, beef tenderloin and, and salmon and uh, all sorts of waiters and as much alcohol, I don't drink, but as much alcohol as you want to consume, uh, and, and you're in the Cannon Caucus Room, which is just a, a really beautiful uh, uh, room, uh, or uh, in the old house chambers, uh, there is a clear message that, that this is how you now live. Um, you're given gifts uh, from the time you arrive by leadership or others that are, that are thanking you for the sacrifice for coming to D.C. Um, I've never consumed as many calories as I did when I was in this orientation session. So uh, the, the other thing is you're, you're told pretty quickly that uh, you, you, know, you never vote against the rule and you never, uh, there are some things you don't do as a, a, a part of your party. Uh, both sides are, are wine and dine. Both sides uh, get the same rules, uh, the same instructions. And uh, the, the idea is that uh, the most important thing you can do is get reelected. Um, and the most important thing to get reelected is to make sure you play the game. And in that case, it, so you're defining play the game as sort of being in line with your party. Not necessarily in those early sessions are you meeting with lobbyists and the like. It's sort of an, um, a, a, an understanding that you're developing about who the leaders are and what they expect of you. I, I think that's right. And, and the fact that you have, uh, as a member of Commer uh, Congress, uh, special access to various areas. One of the parties was in the National Archives after hours. Mm -hmm. uh, it was opened up uh, for this party. Uh, George Will came and, and spoke to the group. Um, there, there's definitely a feeling of being special um, as a member of Congress when uh, you're, you're constantly uh, uh, given special privileges. Mm -hmm. So you don't hold back in this book. I, I read it last week and, and, and you use some pretty tough language to describe the men and women with whom you serve. For instance, you write, I'm going to quote, Members of Congress are, for the most part, fat and happy alligators who feel pretty darned comfortable in the swamp of Washington. Tell me what you mean. Well, I don't mean that they're alligators. What, what I do mean is that they are swamp creatures, that um, when you arrive in D.C. And, and you have the surroundings uh, that I've described earlier, mm -hmm. uh, you get very comfortable in that, in that situation, and, and you don't want to give up those comforts. And the way to continue to earn those comforts is to uh, spend more money um, and to grow government and to uh, uh, not solve problems, but uh, to um, create uh, programs and, and take credit for those programs, uh, whether they're efficient, whether they're effective, uh, to take credit for those programs. And so uh, the, uh, many of the members of Congress are uh, here. It's the, it's the best job they've ever had. It's the highest paying job they've ever had. And it's a job that they uh, don't want to give up. And so their reelection is more important than uh, the, the actual uh, problem solving that, that needs to go on in D.C.